Hey there, either Holder Fire Familia, and welcome to Narjan Reacts. In this, we're reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 3, Episode 9. If you'd like access to the full on edit reaction, go join my Patreon. The link for it will be in the description down below. But anyway, let's get right into it. Is it truly the final battle, though? I don't think it's gonna be the last battle we see in this series, considering we got three more after this. Or three more seasons. Are you trying to copy... This is Callum. Is he trying to copy the symbols that were on the... Iba's arms. Just don't jump off the cliff. I, you don't... You want to see if they sprout first. My arm is itching a little. Maybe it's starting to work? Or it's the paint. Are you having allergic, allergic reactions to the paint? You can't pull a muscle in the middle of a jumping jack. <laughs> uh, no. I, I was just... Also, you look good with that outfit, Callum. It's a big day. Oh, wait, so that's what his undershirt looks like. Yeah. Is our last day. I want you to know. I love you. Hey guys! Soren, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna actually kill Soren. It was wrong, and I'm sorry for it. I think it was character or girl. Even though the and that made me feel jealous, jealous, and upset. So I picked on you because I got I big brother. Be better. Also because you're smaller and weaker. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's necessary. Oh. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> well, Soren didn't wait for him to say anything. It's just like, nah, I'll, 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 be the, I'll be the one to start it. Why do I feel like that caterpillar is getting bigger and bigger with every I am proud of you, episode? Claudia. Also, why did? How did he go from all ashen and cracky to now looking back to normal? What magic did he siphon from? To did he have a butterfly with him? Well, of course. You're my dad, Dad. I'm gonna stick with you to the end, no matter what you do. But you are still my little girl. We're all that's left of our family. Why do I feel like... Because I know Viren definitely feels closer to Claudia than Soren. I wonder if, like, something happens with Claudia that then Viren wants to go back on, like, what he's done so far, but then Erevoss... Arab Ervos kills him or something. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be a redemption thing for Viren, but it's gonna be like a too late kind of thing. And I won't let anything break us apart. I mean, it's too late. Soren's already left. With all this magic and potential, for the jewel I just noticed that the the symbols on the caterpillar's back, like it's like a pattern that's like going down. It's uh like it's lighting up, and each section of the lights up, it goes down like its back. It's a cool caterpillar, if not gross. <laughs> Just because of the way it came, went in his ear and all that stuff and throat. Ugh. The throat was the worst. Also, what did he say? I don't want to miss that because I don't want to miss anything important. Transcend his human form. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't trust Erebus at all. To the last elf standing. We will be outnumbered. No, nah, you see, you need to do the rail away instead of this. It's. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I, I can't get over that when she did that. That was just so funny. Vicious. Well, they try to climb up. They'll be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That guy can pick them off easily. And by can she technically just break the stairs? And my Okay, anyway, the zap hand aside, couldn't he just use like a big gust of wind or something to just knock them all off? I don't think they'd survive the fall. Zim doesn't look very confident. You gonna see your mom, finally? Aw, Bate wants to go comfort him again. I will keep you safe. You will be a worthy- I love how Bate's comforting him. Man, I love the, the beast designs in the show! <laughs> wonder what Claudia and Viren's reaction is going to be to see Soren. I don't think Claudia's going to be able to fight Soren. She's going to obviously try to convince him to go on their side. Looks, looks snazzy. He just runs ahead. I hope he dies. That's. <laughs> <laughs> just like waiting, and he just 
comes roaring and charging through. Just like, ah, oh, fine. <laughs> That's a lot of soldiers. Of course, he would be the first. Connie, what are you going to do? Are you prepared to take, like, lives? I mean, you take animal lives, but I don't think I've seen you take any elf lives or. They're going to blast fire at them with their shields, aren't they? These aren't simple shields. I don't think. Fire? Mm, shield? Oh. Ha ha ha! Yeah, you honestly thought it would just be simple shields. You get, they have magic. Can't they just reach around and stab you guys? Oh, <laughs> just slams it in his face. You just hit both sides. Oh, uh, Claudia, I don't... I Am I going to sense a moment where Janai is going to protect Maya or Maya is going to protect Janai? Or are you two going to fight together? I mean, we both looked at each other. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay, just get thrown into her. Oh, she angry now. You hurt my friend. <laughs> oh. Yeah, punch him, punch him, punch him, punch him! More, more, more! Oh. Ouch. Did he just crack her stone on her, the, her crown? Callum. Oh no. They're coming. Dragon Queen? No. Reinforcements! More dragons! Yeah! Dragon friends! Dragon tails? You better not suck the magic out of them, I swear to god, Viren. You might want to spread out your fire a little bit more. I mean, they got firepower, so wouldn't this not hurt them? By the blaze. You gotta be kidding me. They actually just got stronger from it. Oh my god. We need ice dragons. <laughs> or water dragons, not fire. Time for the next phase of our plan. What's that? What's that? Are you gonna- You better not freaking suck the magic and kill these dragons. I swear. Hey, now! I swear to god, if they kill the red one- You better not suck the magic out of these dragons. I swear. I swear. We need we need mama to wake up. Zim, go talk to her. Please. I know that you're gonna be the reason she wakes up. And I don't think she's waking up anytime soon. Just from those words alone, Zim's waking her up. Don't have hope. She's a darker blue than Thunder was. Just smells them. It's just like <laughs> it's like that awakening stuff that they have like unconscious people sniffed and then I forgot what it's called. Okay. Zim has his dad's coloring, but it looks like maybe his mom's fur, like the hair. yeah the hair. Oh, he's determined now. Try and wake her up. Mhm. Mm Come on, Zim. Wake her up. His little rainbow, prismatic like lightning. How deep of a sleep did she put herself in? It's like a coma almost. They're not gonna expect Callum to be able to use magic. I got more wind where that came from. I am a windbag. Oh. You need like five of you. Uh of course you! Yeah, you have to say it faster and draw it faster, Callum. Oh, there goes the book. Is that Anya? Oh, 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 arrow through the face? Forget the knee, go for the face. Well, you're dead. Anya! Ready. <laughs> oh, this is, what's up? Didn't Lord of the Rings have this kind of scene too with the arrows? Or no, I'm remembering something that had this kind of like scene with the arrows raining down. 
I'm pretty sure it was Lord of the Rings that had it. Like, similar situation, I think. The baker! <laughs> the baker's there, too?! The moral is gonna smack him with his, uh, rolling pin? Are you serious? I love your accent. But what about the dragons? Viren, we still have to worry about Viren. But now we're okay. It for now. Feel great to not be doomed. Yeah, for now. Are we freeing the dragons that I think are still chained up or tied up or? I got this. Leave it to the little bro. <laughs> I am so proud of you. I know. And he's only ten. Nine? Uh, yeah. Very mature for a ten-year-old. Or I guess was ten, now nine in the next season. Couldn't- if they're fire, couldn't they just melt the chains? My name is Marcos. Oh, it's the one that put down his sword. Wait, I thought he put down his sword. Why is he there? Of course he's crying. And we need to free these dragons. Where's Viren? I'm worried. This is not over until we find Viren. We cannot let him slip. We won't let him get away. What if he took the dragons? Okay, no, they're oh okay, they're fine. Feels a lot better to be on the side that's unchaining things. <laughs> yeah. He gets to be fun as wagon like when he was little with the plushie and he was hugging it. Claudia. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run into you like that. Oh, Are you okay? Please it's Viren. let me help you. Uh Drop the staff, Father. Family reunion. It's over. You really gonna stab Ezrin? I am a Do you hear me? Soren, oh, the reflection is I. You're making a mistake. What if he stabs Soren? What if Viren stabs Soren? I love the reflection of the sword in his eye. Surrender. Are you gonna kill Soren? Oh! Is this what leads to Claudia fully defecting? I love how there's blood in his shirt and chest, but there's no blood in the sword. The real battle was never down here. All it was up there. Was just a distraction. Illusion. Ah, uh, bruh. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta be kidding. She says, how could you to Soren, but how could you, Claudia? Nah. Callum. Your mother can't protect you now. Oh, please. I hope the mom appears and so smites him. Oh, big! Don't you hurt, big! Oh. oh, no. It's on now. It's on now. You heard the grumpy, lovable toad. It will be a pleasure to Oh, not the coin thing. Shadow Elf to my collection. Well, he's got Runan. I was about to say, is that confirmation that he's got her parents in there? But that Runan's in there too, so never mind. Callum, Callum, Callum! Are you gonna call down lightning or something? You can fly. Uh wait, did he already do put rail in a coin? He can fly, you dingbats! Only shot lightning. I don't think that's enough, Sim. You need to fly. You gotta fly, buddy! You gotta fly, little one! But he's got ma Is that gonna be the tornado that sucks in magic? Now! Calm, this would be a really good time for you to come up and just shove him off a cliff! It's Erevoss that's... Or arrows. Nah. So he didn't put her in a coin. Oh, bait, you're okay. You're my hero. <laughs> His eyes get all sparkly and happy. Oh, Callum. All right, don't need an orgasm. Thank you. 
Callum's not here yet, but okay, Sarayla is. Callum, you need to freaking run! Cut his arm off. Pull an Anakin. No, 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 Rayla! Magic? Hello? The wings, the wings, the wings, the wings, come on! Oh, he's gonna... He's not gonna survive this fall. That's a nice shot. I mean, if not, you're both gonna die. Love? Love, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, bye, Baron. I want to feel bad for you, but nope. Because I love you, Rayla. I really do. The power of love is great. Yeah, full steam ahead of this ship. This ship is not even just full, not even like sailing. It's just <laughs> it's cutting through ice. Nothing can stop it. I think. <laughs> what about Zim? Is Zim okay though? Cause Zim uh, had his magic sucked for a while. Yeah, he's not king of Catalas, he's king of both lands now. Okay, Zim's okay. Just the four of us. Five. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Zim's like, hey! Just the five of you, huh? Mm-hmm. Mom awake? Mom awake? Mommy? Up oh, the piano music. She moved. I swear to God, if she dies at the end of this. She's awake. Hi, mom. Aren't you pretty? Of course, you're eating a, ta a tart. Yeah, you have your mom's, like, fur collar. Request. Aw. Yay, we're not having a little foot m moment. <laughs> we're not. Even Bates cry. Is this a dream? I forgot that they spoke. I can't believe it. They're holding hands. Elves. She's pretty. Yeah, of course you're not dead. Of course you're not dead. Claudia saved you, didn't she? Uh huh. What'd you do? Oh, what'd you do to save him? No. Oh, he died. What? Your hair is wor. Oh, I knew. I knew Claudia was going down the door. She. It's like her heart's in the right place. Like she wants to save her dad and everything, but she's literally sacrificing what makes her for. Yeah, dude. You're okay now. What did you? What did you siphon that was strong enough to bring someone back from the dead? Because there's a difference between fixing like Soren's spine, but the fact he was dead and he brought what? I mean, she went from just like a piece of like a lock of her hair. Now a whole ha almost half of her head is white. So what did she do? Viren, you've got to realize. Where is your creepy caterpillar friend? She looks angry. Wait, did she use the magic from the caterpillar to bring him back? Into that. Oh. It's changing. Is it turning itself into a physical form of Erevos? Why do I feel like he needed enough magic to for like the caterpillar is like his form and, and it's like a spell and it needs to consume enough magic for it to become to metamorphosize the metamorphosis whatever it's called to pretty much become a butterfly or become his physical form that's what i was feeling so good about this ending and now we got that Ugh. okay where's the drawings give me the drawings come on ah uh, it's mommy with jimmy i also find it interesting how you know i'll save it for the thoughts <laughs> Ezrin is introducing mom to the top. Tate, uh, tarts, not taters, tarts. 
No, nah, he's hugging her. Callum's hugging her with his wings. Yes. Ah, Soren's giving bait bandit on his back. Little hero. Got the crew. Maya and I forgot the translator's name then. Oh, baby Ezrin, and of course he's holding a tart. Oh, so that's how she found. I'm guessing that's how she found. What condition was it? If, for him to fall that far, I'm sorry. You'd either be smush, like in not smushed, but like flattened, like in horrible shape. I, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, that would have been a gruesome sight for her to come across. Like, ew. I want to know what she used. What s magic did she siphon from? Because like, if if to heal Soren's back required a deep baby deer, then what the fudge is she siphon to save bringing Saren Viren back from the dead? I, mm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my thoughts. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, I didn't even see you here. Hello, madam. Mm. Mm. Mother, I love you daily, and I know I love, I'm sure everyone else loves to see you make your appearance. And then get my thoughts. And then you gotta go back down, okay? Yeah, you gotta go back down. So shoo shoo, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Down, 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 down. I don't want to shove you so you don't trip. Thank you. Thank you, madam. All right, so, uh, oh, what an episode. What, what, uh, finale for this season? Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I had a feeling that Zim's mom would wake up, but I thought, I thought it was going to be like, as like a, the last like hurrah for the fight. Like, she would be the, thing that would end it but I'm kind of glad she wasn't like it actually came down to like I'm um, like Anya and that crew coming to help um that that ended the battle and then it was like a nice little thing that she woke up after it <laughs> um but yeah what I was gonna what I was gonna bring up was I find it interesting how Zim's mother uh like she knows that humans killed her mate or thunder and stole her egg or Zim. And yet she didn't hold any animos or like bitterness toward her. Like when she saw that humans and elves are together and stuff, she's like in awe of it. She's like, wow, you know, like she's happy it's happening. Whereas I feel like if Re like Ragum didn't care at all. <laughs> um, I don't think Thunder probably would have been upset. No, if 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 she had been killed and Thunder was left over, I feel like he would still attack them like maybe at first so maybe if zim like stood up and like against them he would maybe calm down and be like oh or like step off like step back um but yeah she's definitely you could see completely different from like at least regum um she doesn't have any bitterness over human humans being the one that killed her mate and took taking zim um which is i like that so it's not like all dragons were kind of the same. I mean, not that Thunder was. Thunder was like, I'll spare you because it's a special occasion. But you could tell he still was like not trusting of humans, which understandable. Um, but it's it interesting that the mom was just so much more forgiving and was like, oh, I'm happy to see human and elves together kind of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, this was a... I think this is now my favorite episode of the series. Just a lot of stuff happened and a lot of great character development. Um... Whether that was good or like good development or bad development, like in terms of like Claudia's now going down that darker path, like I thought it felt she was, and then we got the freaking Erebus caterpillar that's now cocooned itself, and who knows what's going on with that. Um, <laughs> Viren being, I feel like Claudia's going down, going to go down a darker path than Viren is. I wonder because of, I wonder if Viren died. I wonder if he got, like he's disconnected now from the dark magic, maybe. So I wonder if he'll see things more clearly. And I wonder if he's going to see Claudia go down the dark path like he was starting to go down. Or already going down, but he was going to go fully into. Um, and I wonder if he's going to then side with them. Like, a, is there going to be redemption for Viren or something? I feel like possibly. I don't know. I, I'm all for that. Like, I don't think he's a full-on bad guy, but it's just like he was being clouded by power. Um, kind of like, kind of, it's like Anakin. Um, like Anakin was you know, not technically a villain, like, he did horrible things, like, killing children and stuff, but he also was, like, not like Lord Sid Sidious, he wasn't like that, um, and it also reminds me of, uh, oh my god, what's his name, um, 
Soko from uh, Arcane. Like, he also wasn't a full 100% villain. He... Yeah, like, it's... They're not just a full... Yeah, I want everyone to die. I want everyone to suffer. Like, Soko obviously cared about Jinx and stuff. So it's not, like, 100% evil kind of thing. Not like, you know... Not like the villains we see in some of the Disney movies and stuff, where it's just like, oh yeah, there's no redemption for them. They're just, they're just bad. They're just evil. Don't, don't feel bad for them at all. Whereas these guys, it's like, I can see that they have good intentions somewhere. Like they started with good intentions and they got corrupted or something happened or whatever. Or they believe like with Viren, it's like he wants power to supposedly protect humanity and stuff. But, uh, but in doing so, he's becoming more corrupted and more evil, and he doesn't really see it or he refuses to see it, kind of thing. But, um, yeah, uh, plot for this episode, plot, characters, the animation, and mu <sighs> music? I feel like the music was better than good than usual, but not, like, fantastic in my opinion, which is probably gonna be bad, but, yeah, I would say it, the plot, <laughs> I would say the music that stood out the most for me in this is honestly when it was between Raylan and Talon, when it was more like a piano, like, softer sound, like, it's, that stood out to me, so I would say the music was good, better than good, um, but, Plot, characters, and animation were all fantastic. Um, especially, like, the shot that stood out to me most with this one was when Callum had jumped after Rayla, and you just see, like, the clouds and just his silhouette and her and Viren fall. Or I think you could see Viren, but I think it was just Rayla and then Callum, and you could see him, like, like that was great. That will yeah. <laughs> uh, great episode. Um, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep ring bright. See ya.